It is so hot in the shed right now. So I was gonna take one of these normal like box fan things and I was gonna attach a washing machine motor to it. And then I was like, wait a minute, this is a terrible idea. I'm not an electrical engineer. Do I look like electro boom to you? I don't know how wires work, I'm mechanical. Now you may be wondering, Alex, where did you get a 125cc motorcycle engine just lying around? And to that I would say, what are you, a cop? So the first thing that we gotta do is bolt it down to something, but you know, I have a very noticeably wooden workshop table. Which would honestly probably be fine, but I spilled gasoline all over it. But that's okay, because I built a second noticeably wooden workshop table. Or it, it would be, but I, uh, I spilled gas all over this one too. The particularly observant of you will notice that my third table is also made of wood, so I got this fire extinguisher in case something bad happens. What? How? How the fuck? While we're on the topic of safety, don't do this. For one, it's a literal nonsense machine. It's a combustion engine, so it can't cool anything off. It's made of fire. For two, we're, we're what you would call experts. Have you seen my piece of paper? It's magnificent. For three, there's a reason why they put these guardrail things on these things. I mean, we, we don't we don't need them, but you know, there's a reason why they do it. Let's pretend this is your finger. I'm just as confused as you are. Anyway, now that we understand I'm a moron for building this thing, we can actually, you know, get started. Ah, there we go. Don't need this anymore. So we're gonna connect the engine to this via chain, and then this is just gonna on that somehow. You know, I'll, I'll figure it out later. First I gotta mount everything. Hey dumbass. Are you freaking doom scrolling right now? Build the enclosure. Oh. Yeah, who's the dumbass now? That's right, kids. It's all mounted with excellent features like metal in some places, wood, Everywhere else is the entire frame flexing. That's mildly concerning. That's mildly concerning. Oh my god, shut the hell up. Anyway, now that we've got everything mounted, sort of, we can turn it on, but how do you actually do that? I know an engine looks complicated, but that doesn't matter because I'm about to give you the best engine crash course of all time. Whenever you rotate magnets around a wire, it generates electricity because magic. No, actually, no, like, for real. If we assume that the engine is on for a second, it's already rotating, and we can just slap magnets onto the part that's rotating and rotate it around a wire, and boom, free electricity. We funnel that electricity into the spark plug, the spark plug blows up the gas, which pushes the piston, which rotates the bitch even more, and the cycle continues. But how do you start the process? Well, all we need to do is get the magnets to rotate around the wire. There's a little lever that you kick that rotates the magnets around the wire, and then the engine starts and it handles it from there. Hey, editing Alex here. Don't worry if you didn't get all that explanation. Seriously, dude, the retention graph of that section is gonna look like the 2008 financial crisis. All you gotta know is that we kick the thing, and then it spins the thing, and then it starts the engine. That's not good. Upon hearing that, I thought that I just stripped the inside of the engine's gearbox to pieces. So I spent two weeks taking apart the gearbox only to realize, oh wait, the inside of the engine is totally fine. The kickstart is just broken. The metal is like stripped here. It's, I can't fix it. But all the kickstart does is just rotate the magnets around the wire. So what if we just rotated the magnets around the wire directly. So we put a string around the magnets. No way, that's just a full start, bro. Success! F go! I did not expect that to work. So why didn't I just slap the fan onto the axle and then call it a done YouTube video? Well, the first reason is that real YouTubers have a terrible upload schedule. And now that we have one too, this video might just do well. The second reason is it wasn't spinning nearly fast enough. In fact, if you look real closely at that previous footage, you can clearly see that I don't own a high-speed camera. Take my word for it, it sucked. But why? Generally, with an average motor, you can either push something really heavy spinning really slowly, or you can spin it really quickly, but it's real easy to stop. This is a go-kart axle, meaning it's designed to push something really heavy. You're fat ass. As a result, this sprocket is gigantic, which is way too slow for our purposes. Not to worry though, I have solved the problem the way the best engineering firms in the world do it. I threw more money at it. 
I can't even cap, this video is getting stupid expensive. In our previous setup, we went from this small sprocket on the engine to the big ass one. In the new setup, we're going to go from the small ass sprocket to another small ass sprocket into the big one. And then the big one is going to go to the second axle with another small ass sprocket. I had to disassemble all this shit to show you that, so now I'm gonna go and put that back together and it's gonna take eight hours. Thanks for that, asshole. Yeah. Oh, I'm mildly concussed. That's fine. We don't make real videos around here. So we wrapped our little string around the engine and yanked it not once, not twice, but 33 times. I couldn't get it to stay idling for the life of me for a multitude of reasons. But then. We got into the first gear. On a real motorcycle, the spinning wheels keep the engine alive when you let off the gas. But since my fan has no wheels, the second I let go of the gas, the engine shut off. No! Oh, <coughs> but then... I got it into second gear. And then proceeded to do pretty much the exact same thing. Look, in my defense, I'm yanking on a throttle cable from like four feet away. Okay, you you waited long enough. No more summoning salt joke. This, this is when I got into the final gear at the highest speed, the best attempt. By this point, the engine was warmed up, so it was pretty easy to start it to get it to idle. Then I pressed the foot lever down to shift it into first, and then pressed it up to shift it past neutral into second. Look, I know why they designed it this way. I'm still gonna be upset about it because it made my life harder. Then I shifted in that same direction again to get it into third, and finally, I got it into fourth. And then I cranked that sh All right, back up, I'm just gonna full throttle it. I could actually feel the fan blowing on me pretty hard. So ladies and gentlemen, we did it. In between each take of that was like 20 failed pull starts, me whipping myself in the eye with the paracord the second I forgot to put my safety glasses back on and just so many rope burns, so many rope burns. But how fast did we get it to go? Well, we got the fan to spin at 1000 RPM. Hell yeah. How does that even compare to that pussy ass normal box fan? Really? Yeah, I wasn't kidding when I said this was a nonsense machine. Using thermodynamics, I calculated that if you put this in a 10 foot by 10 foot room, it would raise the temperature in there by seven and a half degrees every minute. We haven't even talked about carbon monoxide this entire video. Not only did we create the world's least efficient space heater, but you can't even be awake to enjoy it. You just finished the full version of this video, but if you really want to see more, we put all the stuff that we cut out on Patreon. The lowest tier gives you access to all of the bonus content. The higher tiers are literally just to support the channel. Don't buy them. Unless Unless you, for some reason, want roles in my Discord. Speaking of which, let me know what you thought of this video in that Discord server. It'll be in the description. We have way crazier projects coming soon. If you thought this was stupid, dude, you have no idea what I am capable of. I am so excited to show you what we've been working on. Thanks for watching. I'll see you soon. <laughs>